This next game uh, was played between myself and uh, Deep Rifka. Deep Rifka 3. Time control was, well, it was just a 3 minute blitz game. It's a very long game, but I won't actually show all the moves, 115 moves, because uh, as most people know, the game can more or less be cut down or maybe 30 moves or even 40 moves sometimes because the computer just doesn't resign or offer a draw or even accept a draw or whatever. So anyway I was black, the time control was 3 minutes like I said and uh, I was using a Nydorf book, book 3 in this game. What it means is that I created an, an own Nydorf tree so the com computer only plays the silly in defense. That is E4 and when I play C5 it responds you know like a knight or knight f3, uh, knight c3 or whatever anything that more or less leads to the knight or defense. So I play c5, knight f3, d6, knight c3, uh, knight f6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, a6, bishop g5, a6, f4, queen b6. And uh, I've probably talked about the poison pawn variation before, uh, where the idea is that, well, why well, can't actually give up this pawn over here for some initiative actually, and I, and I believe that it's not very good to take the pawn because it does give uh, white some, well, in some cases a very serious attack because there will be open lines all over the place and double pawns, etc., etc. So. Uh, of, of course, I've tried to take the pawn, uh, but I've also declined the offer, so to speak. But in this game, uh, Rook went knight b3, and uh, there are many moves here. One is queen e3, just trade off queens. One is uh, the move that I play, knight takes knight b to d4. One is bishop e7. One is knight c6, and that's on and so on. But I play knight d7. Queen f3, bishop e7, bishop d3, queen c4, queen c7, castles long, b5, a3, a3 is, uh, well, it stops a move like b4, and, uh, well, that's more or less it, so a3 makes sense. a3 is not, all, it's not really a weakness either, because usually it's not very good to push pawns in front of your king, but. I think the a3 is a good move. Of course, it's an okay move. This is very no well-known theory, and it's been played by many strong uh, grandmasters and top players. Bishop b7. Bishop takes f6. Knight takes f6. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure why the computer took on f6. It's not even part of theory, actually. It's a little bit of a mystery. I don't think I don't think that it's actually necessary to take. Maybe the idea was something like if I play h6, bishop h4, and whatever the the knight goes, uh, then I can always take on h4 or something like that. I, I really don't know. So knight takes f6, g4, rook c8, rook c8. Well, why not? I just wanted to put my Queen and Rook on the same file as his King, although there are a bunch of moves in between, but you know, it's always good to line up those pieces. G5, Knight D7, and one line in the very uh, Knight Dwarf is when White plays F5, White Black takes over here with check, the King moves to B1, and then Knight E5 followed by Queen H5, etc. The point is that, uh, well, it's I've drawn several games like that. It's very kind of difficult to explain in detail, but it goes something like g6 and then just takes over here with the king and so on and so on. And, they, and they sometimes, very often, actually, there's a knight on d5 and there's also the knight on e5 and those knights kind of uh, well, they can't touch each, each other. And then there's also opposite color bishop bishop endgame in, in that particular variation. Anyway, King B1, just 
getting off the, this final, I suppose. But also, maybe in some cases, if f5 takes over here, then taking the pawn does not come with a check. Knight, d, knight b6. The idea is that I want to play d5, and some, and also perhaps even knight a4, knight c4. It's a, it's a useful move. Knight d4, d5, and just a bunch of trades. Trade again. Rook d3, b4. Well. Now we can see that a3 helped me a little bit because I can now play b4. Uh, I, I'm not sure why if this is actually a good move to play a move like a4. I'm not actually sure about that. It's perhaps possible to even sacrifice the pawn with b3 or something like that and then got the pawn on a4 sometime later. I, I don't know. But of course, uh, I mean, b4 also stops a move like c3, more or less. Okay, if c3 it takes, then probably takes with, well, obviously it takes with the rook. And uh, it looks like white is actually under some sort of pressure down there. a takes b4, bishop takes b4, h4. Is, uh, I have to go through all this, the rest of the moves very quickly because I don't have much time to cover everything. But this is uh, kind of this is really important. G6, H5, and obviously I, I can't take this pawn over here because if I take this pawn on H5, then after Rook takes H5, it's more or less the game is more or less over because this Queen is threatening to check over on H7, and, I, and obviously even if my and even if my, I move my Rook to say something like D8, then it's going to be checkmate on H8. So of course I can't take that. I can't take the pawn, and I also can't allow him to take because if I do, then I, when I take back, he can still he still has the same threat. Um, it's just horrible. So the only move here is to play what I, what I did g5, just sacrificing the pawn. So he took, and I played e5, just kicking that knight off. And here in h6, of course I can't take. The knight, because if I, if I take the knight, the knight is gonna he's gonna play this move, and when the rook moves, it's just it's just completely lost. So I'll play g6, and I'll c3. I just took the knight. He takes d4. Queen takes d4, threatening checkmate over here. F6, only move. Queen e4, f5. Notice that if, if not f5, if, if I play something like bishop c5, then I can give this following variation. So white gives up the queen. Of course, I didn't see all this during the game. Uh, and here, white just wins back the queen, and uh, well, it has obviously a much better game. Two rooks against a rook and a, and a bishop. He's even up a pawn here. So, anyway, unfortunately I have to go over these last couple of moves very well, actually several moves, 70 moves or more than that. So, I can't really comment on anything else. So this is the end game. Although I'm down a pawn, but there's no way for white to actually do anything about this. I just went back the pawn. Okay, he wins the case, but now my king is very well on it on his way to stop his pawn and as you can see the game could have ended here but instead it went on for another I don't know maybe 40 moves something like that so anyway the game ended like this just a bunch of checks all over the place and finally on move 115 the game was drawn I hope you enjoyed this although very brief look at the, the variations and uh, a quick review of the game. Bye.